Hello everyone, today we're going to unbox the Creative Gigaworks T2.0 Series 2 speakers. Let's get cracking then! So they come in a nice snazzy box, quite large as you can see. Um, the speakers themselves are about, I don't know, say 15-20 centimetres tall. So about that tall there. Um, I've broken the seal, I haven't actually opened them though yet. As you can see, the box is still fresh and shiny. So let's go ahead and open them up. Ah. Okay, so so far so good. The packaging's nice, big box. It's a 2.0 system, so you get two speakers that have the, the treble, the bass, all about that bass. Uh, and then the power brick and stuff is, is separate. Ugh. So, so far you get a little box like this, and that is sealed, so... Let's open this box up. Ugh. In here you'll have your power brick, I would assume. Swanky. Okay, so this is the power brick. Looks like this. Normal sort of kettle lead there. And that's obviously the power connector. Looks like that. Let's get moving on. And obviously there's the other end for that. So just normal standard power for the UK. So three pin. Uh, you also get an auxiliary lead. So green auxiliary lead in there, which is quite a nice thing to get included for free. Um, a phono connector to 3.5mm jack, which is awesome as well to get. And um, what's this in here? Hmm, let's have a look what this is. What do you get in this piece? Aha, this is just to connect the, connect the two speakers together, so that's quite simple. Okay, move that box out of the way for a second. Let's get these speakers out now. So, oh, they weigh quite a lot. Oh, so you get instruction manual, woohoo! Support, oh yeah! A little thing for Audible, and then £10 e music card, hell no. Also, instruction manual times two, for some reason. So these are the speakers. Crikey, they're big. They are actually quite large, as you can see. Size of a, a big book, you know, my hand is on there. It's bigger than my hand. So yeah, quite big. Let's get this open. Wah, look at that. So, that's how they look. Let's move this back a bit. There's one. And also, you can take this cover off. Oh, look at that. Sweet. They look really nice, really nice. So you've got the main speaker, your tweeter, and then the sub sort of thing is at the top here. And like a sub hole for like the breathing of the speaker. That's pretty cool. Let's get the second, so this will be the left speaker. And obviously this will connect you by sort of phono to the, the right controller with the settings on it. Put that in the background. Like this. Okay, so the right speaker controls the amount of bass, the amount of treble, the volume, and the power. So let's go ahead and open that one. And obviously, the input in the first place. Wow, look at that, guys. Nice looking, a uh, nice set of speakers there. Looking really swanky. Got a nice set of controls on the front here. You've got your auxiliary in, your headphone out. And you've got your treble, bring this a bit closer, your bass, treble, and master volume. Hopefully you can just about see that on there. Try and focus this in. There you have it, bass, treble, and volume. Sweet! So what you do is you plug your power into the back straight away, like this there, plug your power in, plug your left speaker into this socket, then you've got your sort of auxiliary in. Now I'm not really sure why there's an auxiliary on the front and an auxiliary, or, and an auxiliary on the back, but there is. Okay, so, both speakers are quite nice looking. Let's take those off as well to make them match. Look at that, so you can have the optional cover on if you want or off. I actually think they look better off, personally, but I don't know, they look really cool to me. So let's go ahead and plug these in and see what they're like. So with the right satellite speaker, this is the one with the control on it, you turn it around, it's this simple to plug in. Plug your power in first, so plug it in the wall, and then on the other end, plug your actual... Jake, get the right cable, mate. Plug the actual power cable into the bottom here. Join the connect the left speaker to this right controller, so you get left and right audio. And we'll plug your auxiliary in after that, and that's it done. So on the front now, put this back in place. Okay, so now, as you can see, there's the right speaker, and there's the left, looking really nice next to this screen in front of me. So, when the power is turned on, it glows blue, like so. Very, very nice looking. And let's go ahead and play a little sample clip. 
Obviously, the phone isn't going to pick it up and the YouTube won't pick it up like I can hear it, but this is my first time listening to these speakers, so let's give it a go and see what it's like. A little bit of YouTube's DRM free music, and this is what we've got. So, everything's on the middle, I haven't changed anything. This is the first track I've played, it's playing at the minute in the background. Let's uh, crank this up a bit then. Holy shit, that's good. Oh my goodness, that fills the room. That's it fills the room. The bass is fucking real. <laughs> I heard they were good, I didn't realise they were that good, like. What? That's unreal. Pretty half volume. you. Wow, that is fantastic. Very impressive. That is thumping the room. <laughs> Guys, you need one of these sets of speakers. These are fantastic. Oh, crikey. I think it's safe to say. They are some good speakers right there. If you haven't got a set, buy a set. I was genuinely like... Oh, that is... My, blew my mind. Fantastic set of speakers. Thanks for watching though, guys, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.